Hello, in this video we will diagonalize a 2x2 matrix by computing eigenvalues and eigenvectors. We consider the following matrix. A is 3, 2, minus 1, 0. And we have to compute the characteristic polynomial. We define the characteristic polynomial as the determinant of x times the unit matrix minus a. In our case, this is x minus 3, 2, uh, minus 2, 1, and x. So the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix is just um, the product of those two diagonal entries. So x minus 3 times x minus the product of the other diagonal which is 1 times minus 2. So this is just x squared minus 3x plus 2. We have to compute the zeros of this polynomial and for example by the quadratic formula we can see that those are exactly 1 and 2. Next step is to calculate the eigenvectors. We start with the first eigenvalue lambda equal to 1. We have the following condition a times v has to be equal to lambda which is 1 times v. This gives us a system of linear equations which is just um, 3v1 plus 2v2 equals v1 and minus v1 equals v2. We can find a solution for example um, v1 v2 is equal to 1 minus 1 and all multiples of this are exactly the vectors that fulfill this condition. So our eigenspace is just the span of this vector. Now we continue with a second eigenvalue, lambda equal to 2. This gives us the following. So everything that changes is just this number here and our linear system of equations is just 3v1 plus 2v2 equals 2v1 and minus v1 equals 2v2. Again we can find a pretty nice solution which is just 2 minus 1. So we see here if we plug in v1 equal to 2 and v2 equal to minus 1 then this is fulfilled and we can also see that if we plug that in here this is also true. So the other eigenspace for the eigenvalue 2 is the span of this vector. We can now define our base change matrix S which is just the eigenvectors as columns. The only further thing to do is to invert S. So we have our base change matrix S, which has this vector as the first column and this vector as the second column. And then we have to invert S, which is just uh, 1 over the determinant of this. This is just 1 and then we have to exchange those two entries and put a minus in front of those two entries and then we have that s to the minus 1 times a times s is a diagonal matrix where the eigenvalues are on the diagonal. 
In the next video, we will do the same thing with a 3x3 matrix.